So we'll hit Yatpo and see a few steps here. First is to name it and choose your rewards, whether they're going to a single country or multiple countries. So let's say it's going to the US. And defining the campaign on the ribbon side. Yep. Okay. Defining the campaign, which consists of defining the rewards that you want to offer, as well as the dollar value of those rewards. So he selected Amazon and then 10 bucks. And then so all these resulting rewards are going to be for $10. Got it. Exactly. And then we have the claim window down here, which is how long it's available for 90 days. After that 90 days, anything not claimed gets returned to the customer. And if there's any additional custom fields that you want us to pull from Yotpo, we can pass this into ribbon, like the referred customer, first, last name, or ID. This, this, uh, uh, this uh, I have a question about this. Yep. Can you show me? You want to populate the custom field value from Yotpo. That means uh, from the webhook payload, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Grab Yep, and I believe we are already by default pulling in the referrer's email address by default, right? So these are just extra custom data fields that can be pulled in. Yep, so we'll hit next, and then you tell Ribbon how many people you will want to purchase rewards for, and then set up the approvals, whether it's automatic or by review and manual approval. So you can set this accordingly. Yep, this is actually a really important step here. And this is for the Procter & Gamble. They'll want to do it where they select the other. I will review and approve which re recipients are sent rewards. Because what's happening is this webhook is being fired upon the purchase of, yep, exactly, of, of, you know, of a product. And so this needs to sit in queue for approximately 30 days, I think is what was being discussed. And then, you know, that way that your Procter & Gamble ensures that a person just doesn't you know, buy something, Very then the fun. referrer gets the money and then they return it, right? And then it's a Ponzi scheme of sorts, <laughs> right? Uh, so that's why, you know, they'll want to select this, I will review and approve which recipients are sent rewards. So this approval happens manually. That's correct. And that was a, com we had that conversation with a tie to figure out like, you know, if, if there was a way for the yacht post system to fire off, you know, the webhook like 30 days after, yeah. right. That was not a capability. So I would yeah. say that that's a kind of a potential like phase two approach where, you, you know, if this goes really well, we would look at you know, between you and, between Ribbon and Yatpo, kind of figuring out how to maybe enhance things, but Procter & Gamble was comfortable with this idea of manually reviewing things. Um, mm -hmm. It'll be pretty easy. Like they can mass select and, and, and then, you know, individually select from there if need be. So it should, you know, should be easy for them to facilitate. It'd be a good problem to have, right? Oh my gosh, too many people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> too good. many purchases, too many referrers. We got to figure out how to solve this. <laughs> good problem. <laughs> It will be helpful for the business case to take it to product. Right, sure. exactly, exactly. Cool, okay. Yep, so the next step here is the email. So this is the email that gets sent out to the referrer. Mm -hmm. Change how it shows up in the inbox up here. Yep. And then edit the email as well. So you can change the content in addition to the sending email and the uh, subject is two. Down here, you can change the image. So if you want to turn the image on or off, change the button coloring, the button text, all of that can be tweaked right down here. And then you can save it. And that from email address can even be configured to be, you know, Procter & Gamble, you know, pg.com if need be. So it's a fully branded email. Yep, yeah. absolutely. And last page here is the reward page, which is the landing page once they choose their reward. And same thing here, you can brand it with a logo, banner, message, and all the instructions for redemption are right here. So it's a really easy process for them. Mm -hmm. Same type of customization as you saw before here. You can change the header, how it shows up in the actual reward window, so the page title here, um, and then the message. So they can customize this. 
And the last step is to check out. So to make your purchase, confirm your order in Ribbon. And then we get this URL, the webhook URL that we take over in Yotpo. And we get this set up to the webhook in Yotpo. Yep. So that's really all there is. You can see here it takes maybe five minutes or so to get okay. everything. One second, one second. Yeah. One second. I have a question about the functionality. This link, right? That we submit into the uh, webhook URL. How come this link was created after purchasing? This is the refer the referral link, right? No, this is the webhook URL. This is the web. Yeah, this is okay. the webhook URL. This isn't the, the shareable referral link. Okay, so if this is the webhook URL, how it was created only after you made the purchase, or am I missing something? You do have to make the purchase first so that we have rewards available here to send out through the webhook URL.